if you go back to the swine flu, uh, it was uh, nothing like this. They didn't do testing like this. Donald Trump has repeatedly compared the coronavirus to the H1N1 swine flu outbreak of 2009. But his comments are often untrue or misleading. And actually, they lost approximately 14,000 people. If you look at uh, swine flu, the, uh, the whole thing, and I guess it was 2009, 17,000 people died. Neither of those numbers is correct. The CDC estimates that 12,500 people died from H1N1, far fewer than typically die each year from the seasonal flu. But COVID-19 isn't like either H1N1 or the seasonal flu. For one, it's far deadlier. And the coronavirus also appears to spread more easily than H1N1 or the seasonal flu. In fact, the U.S. could need more than five times the number of hospital beds currently available if the virus infects 40 percent of American adults. That's prompted calls for people to stay home to help slow the spread. Trump also said that the Obama administration didn't test for H1N1. And they didn't do the testing. They started thinking about testing when it was far too late. But here are the facts. The first H1N1 case in the U.S. was reported on April 15, 2009. A test developed by the CDC was approved by the FDA less than two weeks later. On April 21st, the CDC began working to develop a vaccine. Clinical trials began in July. On September 15th, the Food and Drug Administration approved four H1N1 flu vaccines. And by December, 100 million doses were available. A vaccine for COVID-19 is likely to take much longer because it's new and more complex than the flu. You add all of that up, and you're dealing with a year to a year and a half at the earliest. Then you've got to scale up to make enough doses to get to the American people. In the meantime, slowing the spread through social distancing measures is crucial, particularly since you can be contagious before you show symptoms. 